In this video, I will be silently installing PDF7 Basic and I will use PSExec to execute the installation as a system account. And the main reason for that is that I want to ensure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. If you want more details about that, you can check out the video that I have here. And I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. So now I will start this video by downloading PDF SAM. I will use the link that I have here and it brings us to the download page for PDF SAM basic. Here we have an executable but if I scroll down a bit we see that we have an MSI installer and in this case this is more convenient for us. So I will click here and it should start the download. Now I will go to my downloads folder and already we have our executable here and we are using an, an msi file because then we already know the silent switches that we need to use to install the software silently i will be installing pdf sam in a virtual machine so i will right click on the executable and click copy then i will go to vmware workstation where i have a virtual machine prepared for this and i will paste in pdf sam into this software folder where I have my PSXEC executable. Now we want to open a command line. For that, I will go to start, type CMD, and run as administrator. Click yes. Now we have our CMD window. And now we want to change the directory in our command line to the directory where we have our executables. So for that, I will click here, copy the location, and then I will type CD paste in the location, press enter, and if I type there, we see our executables in our command line. If Also, if I type who am I, it is saying that I'm an admin user on this computer. But like I said, I want to perform the installation as a system account. So for that, I will use psexec. I will type psexec.exe minus i minus i for interactive and minus s for a system account and then uh, we need to type the process that we want to start in this case is another cmd process i will click enter now we have another window but this time if i type who am i it is saying that i am anti-authority system that means that everything that i run in this window i am doing it as a system account now we want to change our directory in this command line once more so i will type cd paste in the directory click enter and if i do there once more we see our files here the last step is to run the installation and for that i will go back to my github page and here i have the command that i will be using to install pdf sam and i'm starting the command with cmdc this is not necessary but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line then we are providing the executable name. Then I'm using a switch quiet. And this is the main switch that makes this installation a silent installation. The other switch is no restart. Here we are asking for the installer not to reboot our computer. And also I'm using a parameter all users equals one. This makes this installation a machine wide installation. Then that means that all the users should be able to use the software. I will copy this line, go back to my virtual machine, paste in the line into my command line and press enter. And now we need to wait for the installation to finish. And it seems that it's done. Now we have this PDF SAM icon on our desktop. I will try to click on it. And it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy PDF SAM using other deployment tools such as group policy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.